congratulations on the win tonight. First one of the series. How are you feeling about tonight's game? Well, it was a nail biter and we knew, you know, they're a really good team. They've already had more wins in conference play. Uh, this year than they did all of last year and they've only played after tonight it's only been 13 games so they're doing a just a great job as a team and a coaching staff so we knew it was going to be a tough game and their starting pitcher was very very good uh, thankfully Montana basically matched her we had the key hits you know in the bottom of the seventh Bailey Dowling had a great at bat um, poked a single through the right side Kaylee Tao comes up, hits another one hard to the right side, but the key of that was Savannah Woodard's base running. And um, she's kind of an unsung hero on this team because she is the best base runner we have. Never hesitated going around second base. So now we have first and third and no outs. And then we walk it off the wild pitch. So just a, a really good game to start the series. And, um, a bit of a slow start to begin with, but like you said, the tide picked up in the sixth. Are there any players that stood out to you tonight? Just, I think, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to Montana. Uh, that's a huge lineup that they have. Just hitters up and down their lineup. So to hold them to, I think it was three hits, uh, great feat by her. I thought her team defense was good. Uh, and then obviously Dowling, Tao, and, you know, uh, Megan Bloodworth too. You know, if she doesn't hit the home run in the sixth inning, I'm not very happy right now. So that was a big, big hit for us. And how does it feel to get a comeback win over a powerful team like Mississippi State on national television? Well, it's just so much fun to walk it off. You know, obviously, I'd rather have a lead and be, be able to breathe. But to be able to do that in front of a really good crowd, it was a weird time. You know, it, it's uh, Holy Thursday, a lot of stuff going on. And, um, you know, to start at 5, and I looked up at the clock, and I think we were starting the top of the 6, and it was 1 hour and 17 minutes. I mean, that game went fast. and. It's a rarity nowadays that that happens. That tells you both pitchers were doing a great job. They played really good team defense too tonight. They made every play in the book. But um, you know, just to have a walk-off win, that's really exciting. And ultimately, continuing on to the series tomorrow, what are you looking to see from your team? Well, again, we got to have a, a really good start from our starting pitcher, whoever that might be. And then uh, I think we got to pick up the bats for sure. You know, we had two hits going into the seventh and doubled it. We ended up with four. So we had two hits in the bottom of the seventh, and we just got to do a better job, you know, early in the game to get something going. You know, the first two innings we hit into double plays, and uh, I think she faced nine batters through three innings, and that's not enough pressure. You know, we have to put a little more pressure on their defense and their pitcher, so they have to feel it. And then the other thing with that is our crowd's going to get into it. They really didn't have a chance to, like, explode for the first five innings.